how to protect your Islam. Becoming a Muslim means that you have achieved a lot of good for yourself. It's like owning a valuable treasure. The owner of a treasure will have many enemies who strive to take his treasure away from him. And you have gained the treasure of Islam. Some people will try to drive you away from your deen, religion. These people are the foes of Allah. The foes of Allah are devils, whether from among jinn, whom we don't see, or from human beings. Human devils may try to mock at you, or they may try to persuade you by money so that you may turn back from your religion. They may accuse Islam of many things, or cloud your mind with some misconceptions. You have to know that Allah has said in the Quran, in meaning, and no question do they bring to you, but we reveal to you the truth and the best explanation. So, consult Muslim scholars about what Allah has revealed in the Quran to answer such misconceptions. As for jinn devils, they whisper into your heart, Would you desert your father's and forefather's religion and follow a different one? Would you follow a religion that tasks you with prayers, fasting, and giving others your property, and that deprives you from wine, etc.? In fact, many people grow and find themselves traditionally following and venerating their parents' religions and beliefs. All followers of true or false religion are like that. But the problem is, which of these religions is the true one and which is the false? Surely Islam is the only deen religion which is pure and free from all types of superstitions, polytheism and paganism. It is the deen of pure monotheism. When you feel these whispers of jinn, devils, recite, Rabbi, a'udhu bika min hamazat al-shayateen, wa a'udhu bika Rabbi an yahdurun. That is, O my Lord, I seek refuge with you from the suggestions of the evil ones, and I seek refuge with you, O my Lord, lest that you should come near me. And recite also Surah Al-Falaq and Surah Al-Nas.